Hi everybody, welcome to be with you once again. Today we are going to uncover the western wall of Jerusalem and uh, the supposed so-called Herod making. I believe a lot has been made by King Herod, but the big megalith structure like Babbeck is much more older. Let me come that to that. So we begin our journey in Haifa. With the beautiful Bay Gardens. As we continue our journey. So you can see here the Bay Gardens. Very nice indeed. And I'm leaving from Haifa to the place. So this is in a train. I think Tel Aviv, Israeli rail. Israeli side see how they are dressed the, the Jews there very classy dressed like they are in Russia but they are in the Middle East question but whatever the dome, close to the dome of the rock, Antic, ancient antiquity perhaps, but that will be the subject for later. This is the dome of the rock, and this is the western wall. This by another civilization, this by another, maybe King Herod, and the first blocks that are in the tunnels you are going to see are from very much ancient civilization this is me in the western wall um, so yeah this is the man, male side this is the woman side the woman goes there and the man goes there you can already see some huge blocks perhaps from King Herod or the whole thing is more ancient but we are going to uncover what is really ancient for sure these blocks can be speculated that this is from Herod time but yeah the, the rest banging his head on the wall like literally banging his head on the wall but that's alright if he's, if he's his, his way Look, like this. Anyway, I'm not judging. We're just having a laugh, haven't we? So yeah, that's me. In the Western world. Not impressed with what they have to show us. Not impressed at all. So what do we gonna see? Interesting. Oh, ban the bomb. Actually, when they are bombing um, other countries, and they wear jackets with ban the bomb. Well, that's not very accurate, is it? Western Wall of Jerusalem. Praying. <laughs> I'm not making fun of. 
It's all right. We can love. It's okay. So I think this part may have been done by Herod, but could also be more ancient, like the piece underneath. But could be Herod, and that's a very nice stonemasonry work. You can see here some pull marks. I don't know what they are for, maybe to reinforce it, to put some edge around, I don't know. A lot of notes in it. This is when they she explains it. So I let you hear. The huge platform she talks about, is it involving the, um, the, 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 the structure of the wall that I'm interested in? So does the lie begin here? Perhaps not. Perhaps this is a history. Perhaps the tunnels are here. Underneath. Yeah. I believe so far the story is right. I love history. If someone can build me a time machine, I want to live in every period, I don't care. 
just give me one day to see how it was. Give her time machine. For the real stuff. The pocket is to be for entrance to the map. The first one we call it the road so far. It was kind of a passageway that brought the people you know, from the street to the map. The second one is the working gate, it's more or less for the next session today. And this is the Wilson Barge and the Warren Gate. Those names, by the way, it's after that you will see this to be in the middle of the 19th section. All right, so let's be serious. Let be serious for one second. Uh, what she says is about perhaps right. What really interests me is what is underneath. What is the first megalith structure of the Western world? Let's get it. That's not what she's talking about yet. Yeah, she doesn't really speak about that. She really talks about what it is. I suppose is the history behind. I don't deny that. I deny what is coming after. But stick with me. This is the pocket outside, right? This is the part. And I'm sorry, I need to destroy this also. We'll destroy the second temple. Roman! The Roman Cyrus, he destroyed the second temple. And you know, since the year 70, the Romans destroyed the second temple. For a few hundred, it could have nothing to wish on top of the mountain. And that's more right. A few hundred is there. Well, a lot of people are right, but we don't care about them. The Muslim, they built the Golden Dawn, the Dawn of Iraq, on top of the foundation stuff. Because according to the Muslim tradition, the Dawn of the Dawn of Iraq, he was a sample of heaven from here to make their prayers. How many prayers are Muslim prayer prayers? Five. Five. So imagine, before the Muslim, he used to live in the upper city, and he wanted to come to pray here. So you have to go down to the valley, to the mountain, down to the valley, up about five times a day when he gets tired. So they wanted to build their houses. They just filled the valley here with a lot of huge arches, like those, look, and on top they build their houses, the four, the four trees. I'm going to pause it for a second. You see, they filled the valley with those huge arches, on top they build their houses, the mother four, but by doing it, they just covered the whole pocket, the whole Six-day war, 1967, when Israel united Jerusalem, it used to be here a small Muslim neighborhood. Well, we took off the houses over here, and this is the plaza outside. We took out their houses, and still demolishing today Palestinian territories. Let's not deny that from the video. I don't want to get political, but proof has to be said. And then, in the beginning of the 70s, we started to dig under the Muslim houses. And we found the uh, tunnels. When it's not tunnels, it's the march. Very good. So, more or less, we are here. And we're going to walk under those Muslim arches until we get to the Kotel, and then we're going to turn left, and the Kotel is going to be over time on our right side. So we have a few levels here. Under those Muslim arches, by the way, uh, the Mamluks built it, we're talking about the 13th, the 14th century. Above us all the time, it's the Muslim quarter, the streets, the houses, and underneath is the street from the second temple. We're going to see it. Maybe two. Okay, question, please. First, in any digging, you have the supporting walls, you have all kinds of, you're going to see it the whole way. You have to, you have to collapse. So, what's next? Because no one ever asked me about the moon permit. So, some people say, some archaeologists say that he destroyed the people, but the father of what she just said was that Arab destroyed um, maybe the the basics on the megaliths, I believe. Maybe the megaliths were bigger, or maybe it was just that. 
and he build on top. I don't know, just speculating here. Let's start our journey inside, she said. So let's start our journey inside. So this is the the wall that's from after civilizations. Also here. Now walking in the western wall. Where they say they have clues. Well, they have not. <laughs> Just what I expected. Arrogant humans. Arrogant humans. Always try to... Uh, appre uh, appropriation is the word. As for Tartary or other subjects, appropriation is always the word. They always want to say, we built that from scratch. Well, it's totally not correct. Absolutely nonsense. But we're going to see that. As I make my way through the Western Wall for the actual first time, I'm very excited. Actually, very excited. We're good, everything is connected, the arches are connected between men's side to women's side, whatever she's saying. Anyway, that's not what interests us. Trust me on that. We have more interesting to come. Much more interesting. Believe me on that. So you can see the tunnels are very, very, very big. Big, huge, in fact. So, as war, water, it's humid oh interesting cut some more recent work with some tool marks here tool marks of perhaps King Herod or, or maybe the Crusaders I don't know what technology is, is this maybe it's more recent maybe it's the the Crusaders or whatever. The auto. Anyway, I'm not specialist in the recent stuff. I'm interested. I'm more specialist into the megaliths. We are close. So this is for all you see is from more recent civilization. If you know the city, but now where we are, my friends, 
this wall, if you know Baalbek in Lebanon, actually the western wall structure is similar to the same civilization because Baalbek and Jerusalem are not that far, not even a hundred kilometers, I think, maybe a little more. Um, but actually, it might be from the same civilization. The blocks are the sheer scale of them, but sh she will say how much they are. Hold on. If you want, we can see a uh, first picture of Baalbek so you have an idea of what I'm trying to say here. And, um, do we have some here? Yes. Where is Baalbek? So I'm trying to find Baalbek. Excuse me for that. Here we have it, you know, if you're patient in life. So yes, that's that's the one. Stone of the pregnant woman. The block weights a thousand tons. <laughs> Crazy. If they could have weighed it, you know. Let's do a Google research. and see what we can find so you can really see what is interesting So, Baalbek, Baalbek. I have I had a lot of pictures for you but seems I don't find it so I want to show you that the largest stone in the world but that comes with it in Jerusalem also so It's very, very large indeed. Okay, that's not what we want. Um, so the wall in Baalbek 
You see this shell scale of those blocks in Valdeck? It's actually amazing. In Balbec you have the same tool marks as you can see here that in my video the scale of the stone make me think is from the same civilizations the, the first builders So let's get back to the video, to the real story behind. Shall we? Okay, so but you can search in Google Balbec, and um, I think it's the same size of what you are going to see here in my videos. You see the tool marks here. So you have the, the wall here, it's actually from the woman, like the woman is there, the wall, it's, it's huge, it's huge ladies and gentlemen this time, I'm talking seriously, now this is huge work, okay, so the wall is very large. She's going to say the size, and what is interesting, she's going to also say that it was made by King Herod. This is the appropriation problem in uh, our societies and in the archaeologists' theories of academics, what they say in the cool books. Actually, um, the truth is, appropriation is common. Um, the civilization that was before us, they always wanted to say, we didn't find this, we made it from scratch, but this is absolutely crazy to think this. And I think a very shadow you know, is on our history. The technique, Arod. No, Arod didn't make this. Arod didn't make this. Arod and his masons, no. No. Humans always try to explain appropriation. I think it's a bit arrogant to be like this. Like we can't not explain how why it was there, so it, was, it means that it was made by the same people that built on top of it. They cannot even weigh the stone. They say it's 600, 400 tons. Maybe it's the same as Balbec. Like maybe a thousand tons or whatever. Like it's pretty huge. Pretty huge indeed. Okay. 
So there you can see the stone is go all the way there to the woman that he was there talking. She say 14 meters like what are the size of the megaliths? It's amazing, you know. What do they say here? 12 meter, 12 feet height, 12 feet, and you know, 45 feet. And do they explain how profound it is? You can make your own research, but it's a huge baby. It's a huge baby. Yeah. You see, it's very big. You see that? It's immense. You know, that's me. Investigating. The masonry is very so precise. And um, Herod at that time didn't make this. Even if he had technology to cut rock and uh, and do stuff like in Masada, nothing in Masada was found like this. So this is absolutely not his work. Um, if you base yourself on on history, on if you will learn history, other specialists will agree with me. So this is the tool marks you can find. Very, very, very hard rock, and those are tool marks to carry it, perhaps, like we see in other megaliths. And I'm like, Oof. you know, when I see this, my friends, I'm like, Oof. whoa, you know, like this is huge. Seriously huge. Look from there to the bottom with this big part. It's just nonsense. <laughs> I mean, and yeah, the funny part is that they always try to explain everything like, yeah, we these people made it, you know. Let, let's let's go back in time, like she said, and let's try to ask Herod if he made it. And um, why now we are speculating, you know, because maybe it's because Herod was Jew and they want all the the glory of it. I don't know. And uh, it's like it's always like this. It's very often like this in history. You 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 go to Petra, they tell you uh, it was made only by the Nabateans by scratch, which is not true. When you when you when you even search, you you go to the Edomites, to the to 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 other uh, civilization, to the Orites. If you go way back, which were Nephilims, but anyway, I made it in my past videos. But in the Western world, 
Like in, it was the Nabataeans made from scratch. No, this is not made from scratch by Erod. Erod built on it with other great technology. I can agree that he did a lot of stuff around it on the top, but not this. I can say to you for sure. Paranoid and very cruel, Erod? I don't know. He didn't make it, so we don't care really. He made Masada, but he's not that great as this. I'm a Megalith lover. I didn't see any Megaliths in Masada. He survived much more than 2000 years. If it's not Erod that made it, but it's more ancient, like in the past video I made of Temple Mounts, I said it um, <laughs> was a brother of Balbek and uh, this, the Western Wall. I was not lying. <laughs> was repaired <laughs> oh no question <laughs> okay so we have some beautiful 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 Tool marks, ancient tool marks, with little here like scratch. And this big ass baby, which is not tools, it's just one piece, huh? We are correct on that. It's just one single piece. One single piece. One single piece, just that. Okay. This is it's too big. It's too big. Beautiful. Very hard. Some repairation was repaired. Something was added, I don't know. But this is the big block. Maybe this exploded with ancient cataclysmic events and this was repaired by the after civilizations. So the walls end here with this repaired and goes all the way to there. You see? This is not repaired, like this is straight up with big megaliths. Two cements. <laughs> 
Maybe this is was carried in the past. See the two marks, same as that day. And what you be chewing to. Well, she hasn't uh, really. theory yet. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. I didn't I expect that. <laughs> I expected that. Yeah. We said like uh, we were expected like uh, they were trying to explain what it was truly, but it's only trying, you know. No, they normally do. Matter of fact, how can you explain? how to carry such a big blocks with like ancient tools and stuff like that it's just nonsense just nonsense see this, this guy as much as interest as I do look at this world, it's just one piece of world you can see the precision of it so it will not fall off. Very smart. You can guess how big it is now. You can see this magnificent one piece of wool. You go right through there, through there. There are the two marks there. And you can see this big bad boy. The explanation doesn't doesn't match anything I thought. Big baby. Warren's gate is one of the four Western Wall entrance gates during the early Muslim um, period. Okay, whatever. So, this is the continuation of the wall. People praying me in my boots. This place, where is it? Let's say this is the Western Wall. Let's say this is the How big it is, it goes all the way there to the massive. Tunnels. The Muslims. Very precise and ancient. Yeah. To retain the soil. If it's straight, it will fall over. Fall over. Very specific. Very precise. Yeah. Every stone in, in just a little bit. Yeah. This really is a perfect example. The, the tool marks, this is a very good specimen here. Look. Only you can do a set of two diamonds. Yeah. Diamond cut. That is not. <laughs> Ancient eye technology, even by the after civilization like this, you know, perhaps this is as old as the first wall. Look at the precision of it. 
look at the tool mount and the precision of it you know this shell precision you know like this is really 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 precise indeed you see the tool marks it's so precise so much precision use the old tools doesn't make sense one of these cutting very precise laser cuts I'm happy I came you see the you see the distance here Every stone on end about two centimeters to keep the wall retained. He was anal. He would measure it. And if any place it was not with the specifications, he would get absolutely irate. <laughs> so the guy clearly knew what he was talking about. He would not deny that some more ancient civilization would have done it. When he was saying he, he was talking about Erod. Well, Erod did some work after, this is perhaps by him also, but I don't know, the first megaliths like I showed you is definitely not by Erod and is very more ancient, like maybe some old races of Nephilim like I made in my past videos, you can check me out. A bit, a bit smarter than Bob the Builder. Yeah, look at A bit smarter than Bob the Builder. Like she said, it was both the builder. Yeah, whatever. Masonry of the right is from the Erodian period, contrasting with the previous repaired section, which is probably Muslim, from the 18th century. The stones are dressed so carefully so the ancient fit the ancient flow perfectly, of course. Yeah. Okay, so if this is made by Elon, why not? I can show this beautiful wall. I think it's all that, or it's just pretty amazing. I think the same wall, or it's a big part. Look at this. But perhaps this is correct. Damon cuts machinery. But it is with ancient eye technology for sure. Erod and Solomon, I said it, had some technology also, so I could explain it, but not with ancient tools like they said. It's a long way to go. This is built by the Arabs. But this is the wall of the road. And you can see the machinery tools. Yeah. They're just amazing. They're so precise. Recreating the story. The place, all theory are wrong. Doesn't explain it. She tried. Doesn't explain it. Now, if this is the it would be rude to take a note from there. This is extremely close then to. This is extremely close to the road. Yes. Because it's going up. It's an angle, right? You're already in the middle of straddles, so you're already, you're already, you're already, uh, you're already uh, people are taking their shoes off in there. Yeah. Right. All right. You see them. 
you see the length of this, this temple, the perimeter? No joke. You guys literally walked around every wall exhaustively. Watch your head, Brian. Two walls. Some big, big stuff. Big stones, impressive. Very impressive. Tool marks, ancient eye technology, tool marks, look at that, straight lines. Straight lines like this. Sook, sook, sook. Straight lines. Fook, foo. They're the ones that were making fools on the pilgrim. They can sit and rest. I believe you would too. You know, maybe my great grand 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 grandfather's videos. They were here. All the pilgrims arrived to here, and the street started down the hill. You know, from the city of David, and go all the way up to the corner of arrived to here, and the street started down the hill. You know, from the city of David. Tool marks here like this. Ancient eye technology. I think this is very old. That <laughs> same as the, the stuff. I don't know. Canonization. This eye technology. Go all the way up to the corner of the west and the southern wall. Okay? And we are here. You see, this is the meeting point of the valley, the street, and the wall. And now, if you can, you know, close your eyes. Don't close my eyes. Okay, so two marks. Ancient two marks of an ancient wall. Two marks everywhere here. Cover. See, this is the bedroom. You see? This is the original stone of the mountain, and they just built the cotton on top. Of course, here it's shorter. Okay. And here, someone started to carve the stones from here, but something stopped them. And those, those are paving stones. We found them lying, waiting to put on the street, but something stopped them. And over here, I'm sorry, just for a second, sorry. Can you see that? Can you see it? Many of the megaliths' works look stopped, like Balbeg or whatever. I don't, I don't know what happened, but perhaps this is very much older than they want us to believe. Sir, if you can, please put your hand exactly on the other side. Tell me what you feel. <coughs> the same thing. Thank you. The people who build those columns, do you know they? Do you see there? Clever. Put those like a handles to lift the stones. See, this is the bedrock. You see? This is the. Yeah. Put your hand exactly on the other side. Tell me what you feel. <coughs> the same thing. Thank you. The people who build those columns, you know, they put. If Erod did it, it was with ancient eye technology. If not, this is more ancient, but I believe. This might be from Erod, and uh, the Western Wall, the big piece, is more ancient. I'm ready to accept history at some point, when it makes sense. Those like a handle to lift this. But it will not be with old tools like they say they were using. Solomon or Erod had also high ancient technology. Don't. From the tool marks exposed. 
So I'm not denying um, those are not the work that they say they are. I just say it was not with the same tooling. What I deny was the big role was appropriation. This big piece is not from Erod. I can tell you now quite for sure that this is more ancient because of Balbec and other, other sites. And the previous video I made also in Hebron or Al Khalil. Okay, so great work and tool marks and stuff to carry it. Great tool marks. I think so. Very interesting, in fact. Very, very interesting, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this is That's the top piece. Same behind. Stone I can feel it. Very hard stone. Tool marks. Big, big doors. This is very interesting stuff. Looks very odd, very old. Maybe older than odd. This is coming interesting now. This is how they try to explain how they make it. So I'll let you see. It's actually the Nazis. Like, seriously? Why not? Okay. Like, seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'm just laughing, you know, because... It is, it is trying to say like we, the Jews made it from scratch. Whoa! Like, how can you transport a big blocks like this? <laughs> and how they carved it with chisels.
Yeah, this is a uh, propaganda, clearly. Clearly a propaganda, you know. Uh, I, I think it was funny to, to play this, you know. Last moment to appreciate these tool marks. Okay. This is tool marks. Laser cuts, my friends. Laser cuts. Not made with a hammer. <laughs> It's just bullshit. But I expected that. I expected some bullshit, of course. Yeah, I was not impressed. Not impressed at all. So, my catacombs. You see, you see, I'm not lying. Very narrow. Very short. Never lying. Okay. We don't have to worry about bumping our heads here. <laughs> no, no. Danger, do not enter. But they try to hide. I will come back. Ah, maybe. I don't know. If they want me. So yeah, the original tunnels. Okay, possibly carved by ancient ones. You are in the tunnels of the western walls of Jerusalem. It's actually, <laughs> it's not every day that you can see that. Underwater with some goldfish in it. Funny, in it. Steraton in Latin, it's a sparrow, it's like a small bird. And it was one of the smallest pools that King Herod built for the reservoir. Well, it looked small, but it wasn't that small because behind. Maybe it was not for me, but it was more ancient. Propaganda. And he leads his soldiers to the mountain and they were arrived, you know, on top of the pot standing there, eight soldiers, you know, waving the flag, saluting and singing the national anthem. And one of the soldiers, he knew he stopped, he went the face and he saw that he's crying. And then he grabbed his hand and told him, you know, if my grandfathers from Europe, they knew I would stand here with the flag, singing the national anthem, they would give everything they have just to see that. It's not a closure with those Jordanian soldiers that you were fighting. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, darling? You're talking about archaeology, you mix with modern Zionism, and you, you have lost me right there. This is what is called propaganda. It's a with those Roman soldiers that destroyed the Second Temple. This is what they felt are coming back after 2,000 years. 
Well, how are you? Listen, this is amazing, a full of lies. I just want to tell you uh, for your question, by the way. As a seventh generation in Jerusalem from my father's side. For me, it's the most beautiful, amazing, complicated, crazy city all over the world. And you know, there is a, a young journalist that he wrote once. When he arrived to Jerusalem, the history, the stones, it's all over. Sometimes it's all frightening, and sometimes you get a stone on the head, you know, it's part of the fun here. But he said, but he said, I'm 40 years old guy, and I'm in love with 3,000 years old lady. So if you broke broken stones, I don't care. It's not bothering you, you know. Mm. So listen, this is my love also, and it was a great pleasure to guide you. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of staying here. Have a safe flight home. Happy New Year, by the way. Thanks. You know, come back again and again. Believe me. This is the place to be. All the action is here. All the fun is here. <laughs> All right. I was there. Thank you. I will visit another place. Yeah. See that stuff. Behind me is the Roman pool. If perhaps this was carved by men, it's impressive. Some rock or ancient civilization carved this. Impressive. Oh, she's nice. She brings us the other way around. She's really, really make us a nice present. Thank you, lady. <laughs> Man, I love archaeology so much. I'm like a kid. The city is complicated. It's so big. It's actually big. <laughs> It's not jokes, my friends. This is real. Danger, don't go. On. Very narrow. And here we are, Salomon, the uh, Herod tool marks. You see this? Laser cuts everywhere. Laser cuts. You can find on the bottom. And they explain the bullshit. The bullshit. The bull crap. This huge stone is very precise. Tool marks and stone masonry amazes me, man. Herodian, no, it's more ancient. This is amazing stuff, you know. So, build, build to last. And the weathering is clearly older than centuries, so that's proof of the history is more ancient, whatever. This weathering is very ancient, my friends. All these tool marks are just brilliant. Can you see how brilliant it is? 
the arms, the drool is King Edward. One more entrance. One more entrance. work. And the big piece of wall is not from Iraq, but more and more entrance. So there you can see some old tool marks. Very like like a thing you use for your hair, you know, like so, so, so. With ease, they used to cut it like butter, not with chisels. I don't think so. You can see here are the tool marks and the very precise work. This goes for a great distance, great tool mark, machinery, proofs. And this is the western, this is the most interesting place. There you go. Wars. And this is the big baby that we are talking about. This is just one piece. One piece of wool. Not many, just one. I'm so happy man, I see this, I'm so happy, Jesus, oh my days, fantastic, amazing, so this is me getting out of it, I hope you enjoy the western wall, you are now in the city, the Armenian <laughs> church and the minaret, the spirit of Jerusalem. Occupied still. I have my jade on me. Everything is cool. My ancient jade. Uh, Damascus Gate, where a lot of is happening. A lot of hatred in Jerusalem. Okay, so that was the end of the video. This is what the Israelis do in Jerusalem. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, um, if you want more video, just subscribe to my channel, it will be a good idea, because now I plan to, to do a lot of research, and um, I will make subjects such as Tartary, Antiquitech, Megaliths, and um, as you saw the western wall, you, I will leave you with some images of Baalbek and uh, this for example that you have, it was not made by the Romans like they say it is in Baalbek if you see the, there's the The open, yeah, open. Why not? So yeah, you can see here the tool marks are pretty similar to what we just seen, and I wanted to thank everybody that comments on my video 
and uh, try to make this start because this is what <laughs> I do this is what I do okay so this a video and uh, let me Fantastic work, fantastic work of, of this guy. Last ancient high technology network. Yeah, so, so we're at the side of Ball Becker. Whatever, you know, like if you want to check video about Balbeck or whatever, you can check him, Brian Forster. You can check other YouTubers <laughs> that do great works to learn Tartary or whatever. You can watch John Levy, Martin Laker, and um, other YouTuber on Facebook. You have people, my friend Jefferson, and me. We work on many subjects, and. Um, you have pictures of Balbec and the same tool marks that I'll present. So I believe you can share like this time. Maybe share my videos. You can see that I spread some love and some great details. So I wish you a very pleasant day wherever you are. And uh, in La Cache, uh, welcome back for our next video um, pretty soon. Bye. Bye, my friends. Have a nice day.